Hey everyone, for the past 10 years Precious Plastic has been trying to develop a new global open source plastic recycling system to enable anyone that wants to recycle plastic to do so. And today we've collected tons of data to share with you the impact of this new way of dealing with plastic. And little spoiler alert, it completely blew our minds. Okay, so it's 2013 and we're starting to experiment with a new way of working with plastic waste. A new craft that uses plastic waste to create new precious things. And alongside with that, we also released a bunch of machines, free and open source, so that more people could join in. And fast forward 10 years, a big community of micro recyclers have grown around the project each one doing their bit to tackle the big plastic waste problem. Our aim was always to offer an alternative to these big top-down recycling systems that didn't really seem to be working. We thought, what if instead of having a few giant high-tech recycling centers, we could have instead tens of thousands of micro-recycling businesses spread around the world, each of them recycling a few tons a month? Surely the total added amount would be significant. And today, we would like to share with you the data back in this thesis and it seems to be working. Okay, so back in April 2023, we ran an impact survey to evaluate with data the real life impact of precious plastic and its community. Now, this is much easier said than done. Precious Plastic is an open source project, which means that anyone can go on our website, download anything they need to start the recycling business and never come back, which is great to allow as many people as possible to start recycling plastic. However, it makes it kind of hard to collect data. So to collect the data for this survey, we reached out to everyone on the Precious Plastic map and sent out a couple of newsletters asking people to enter the survey. After a 10 days campaign, we had 527 organizations entering the survey from around the world. So all the data you see next comes from them. Once we got the data, we crunched the number and today I am super excited to bring them to you. So today we're gonna go over the grand data, some graphs and charts, and some of the best success stories from the community. All right, let's dive in. Okay, let's start from the grand data. These are the key findings of the report. The 527 people that entered the survey were from 107 different countries, which is about 60% of the total amount of countries on our beautiful planet. However, from the precious plastic map, we know that the penetration of precious plastic is much higher, around 90-95% with the majority of workspaces being in Europe or US and Africa lagging a little bit behind. Okay, this was a bit of a warm up, but now let's dive into the truly exciting data, what you've all come here for. How much plastic has actually been recycled by Precious Plastic and its community? The organizations entering the survey, they reported recycling over 1,200,000 tons of plastic waste using Precious Plastic, which is just mind blowing. But what's even more interesting is that about half of it, 595,000 tons, have been recycled in 2022 alone, which marks a significant uptake. All right, should we just pause a second here? 594,000 tons of plastic being recycled through micro-recycling around the planet. This is, this is crazy, this is huge. I can't even fathom how much that is. And this is very much a statement on how open knowledge, open and free knowledge, can travel wide and large and have incredible positive impact on this planet. As much of a statement of the incredible work that all the beautiful souls of the precious plastic ecosystem are bringing onto this planet, trying to tackle this huge plastic mess that we basically got inherited. Back in 2020, when we released version four, the big focus was on entrepreneurship and allowing people to make a business from recycling plastic. Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the business plan template. And here again, the Precious Plastic community completely blew all our expectations. In 2022 alone, they generated over 36 million US dollars recycling plastic. And this is phenomenal because it means more people can dedicate their life to recycle plastic. The most successful workspace under this lens made over a million dollar, while the average uh, revenue per workspace across the ecosystem is around $80,000 per year. Another very important piece of data for us was to find out how many people are actually involved within the precious plastic ecosystem. And today we are totally proud to share with you that 6,441 people were employed recycling plastic in a precious plastic project, while 
we also had 11,510 people volunteering on some recycling projects around the world. And this is great. This is enough people to fill a small stadium. I mean, think about it. Just close your eyes a second. Imagine this stadium full of people. And imagine that all of these people are actually dedicating their life to recycled plastic. It's kind of cool, right? And of course, precious plastic being precious plastic, we've got to talk about machines. In 2022 alone, the 527 people entering the survey, they built and sold 1,881 machines to recycle plastic. Okay, so these are the grand data of the precious plastic impact report. So let's recap them. We had participants from 107 countries, which together recycled 595,000 tons of plastic, making over 36 million US dollars, while employing 6,441 people, and involving 11,510 people as volunteers. And of course, making 1,881 machines for the precious plastic community. Okay, let's just stop a second here and reflect a tiny bit on this data, which already looks quite impressive. I mean, these data are large. However, if you think about it, the impact of precious plastic is much larger. What you just looked at are the results from 527 organizations. However, we know that this is only the tip of the iceberg. On our map alone, we have over 800 precious plastic organizations, and we know that that's about 50%, 40% of all the people that are actually out there recycling using precious plastic, knowledge, machine, and ecosystem. Systems. So if you look at it under the lens, the total impact of precious plastic is actually quite impressive. Okay, it's now time to geek out a little deeper into the data, sharing some of the graphs and the charts from the survey. Let's begin by looking at the penetration of precious plastic in different continents, because there you can really draw some interesting conclusions. Crossing some different data, it becomes quite clear how Europe is kind of leading in all different metrics machines per continent, workspaces for continent, a workforce for continent, and also revenue for continent. It's kind of natural, that's where the project was born. Following Europe, we, you have North America and South America being some of the most active, even though I must say that Asia is really picking up in the last few years. Okay, moving forward, uh, here on plastic process per country, Africa seems to be leading when it comes to amounts of plastic being recycled. And this seems to be supporting the thesis that in countries lacking a formal recycling system, precious plastic can really play a crucial role in handling all of the material. Next, let's have a look at the number of organizations per country. And really here, the US seems to be leading the way by far. Here in purple, you can see there's over 60 precious plastic organizations in the US, and the second most active is France, which has about 30, and then all the others. Yeah, big up the US. Next, let's look at the machine being built per country. And really here is the UK that is really leading the way with over 250 machines being built in 2022, followed closely by Indonesia and Austria. And last, I wanna share with you this graph showing the number of organizations that are joining the precious plastic ecosystem year over year. And you really, you can see a growth, a consistent growth of new people coming on board recycling plastic. And a little anecdote is that in 2023, we already are over 70% of what we did last year. So there is more and more people coming onto the ecosystem, onto the movement, and really collaborating together to tackle this big plastic waste problem. And I would like to close this chapter by mentioning how some of the largest organizations on this planet use precious plastic on a daily basis. The Nike, the Adidas, the H&M, the Zara, the Samsung, the BMW, all the largest brands on this planet they seem to be using precious plastic to create a positive impact on this planet. And now before wrapping up, I would like to share with you some of the most inspirational precious plastic recycling stories from around the planet. Starting of course from robberies from Indonesia. Last year in 2022, they recycled 20 tons of plastic, they made 380,000 US dollars, and they employed 53 people in Surabaya, Indonesia. Next is Sahu, a super cool and hip project from Bogota, Colombia. Last year alone, they turned plastic waste into over 15,000 recycled sunglasses, generating over $500,000 in revenue. Next, I'm really happy to mention here Sustainable Design Studio from the UK that fueled the community with 230 
precious plastic machines and employing five people in the UK. Next, let's go on the other side of the planet and learn about Precious Plastic Monash. This is a precious plastic project in the Monash University, where they develop a curriculum to train students on how to recycle plastic. And hundreds of students have gone through that curriculum and learned how they can look at plastic in a different way. Last, since staying on the education side of things, I want to share with you the amazing impact of a project very dear to us, Flip Floppy. They build this big recycled plastic boat, they put some precious plastic machines on top, and then they sailed all around East Africa to educate and train local kids how to recycle plastic into more precious things. And in case you didn't know, on this channel we publish a new success story every Thursday. Okay, so here we are. These are the data of this year's impact report. We really hope that you find this useful and inspirational. If you are running a precious plastic workspace and you would like to use this data, please feel free to use anything that we share to use in your business model, in your presentations, whatever you need. If you don't want to be the last to access this data, make sure to support on Patreon so you can get all of these before anyone else. And last, if you've been thinking to start a micro-recycling precious plastic project for a while, I hope that today's data can give you that little extra push to also start recycling wherever you live and help us tackle this big plastic waste problem together. Until next time, ciao!